what they believe is a series where I speak with religious leaders about their faith and spirituality. This is not that. This is Faith on Film. Our first film, Sita Sings to Blues, a 2008 film by animator Nina Paley. It is both an adaptation and analysis of the main episodes of the Ramayana. The film was released into public domain in 2013 for reasons that we'll get into later. You can watch on YouTube, archive.org, and it's even embedded in the Wikipedia article for the movie. Yes, the entire movie is embedded in the Wikipedia article. For background, let's get into the Ramayana. Like many epics from antiquity, the Ramayana was probably composed over hundreds of years, but the earliest extant copies date from the 2nd century BCE. As my guests have discussed in our main What They Believe episodes, ancient cultures told and retold their stories for many generations before writing them down. In the case of the Ramayana, there is a traditional author, Valmiki. In the text, he calls himself the recipient of the stories from the characters he writes about. Valmiki's writings date from the 5th century BCE. I can't fit all the information about him here, but I encourage you to learn more. To put these works in historical context, here are some other events that also happened in the 5th century BCE. The Battle of Marathon, the Peloponnesian Wars, the spread of the Persian Empire, and the partition of Jin in China. The Ramayana centers on Rama, a prince of the Ayodhya kingdom, his wife Sita, and the hardships of their lives. If you don't like spoilers, turn off this video and read the Ramayana yourself. Here we go. The end of the story reveals that Rama and Sita are avatars of the deities Vishnu and Lakshmi. The point of the story is that they model the ideal way men and women should live out dharmic values. If there is one thing you take away from this story, it is this. They are the best, and you should aspire to emulate their example. I'm being very simplistic, but this is also a characteristic we see across many ancient cultures whose epic works survive to the modern era. These stories are reflections of what that culture values and considers heroic. Sita Sings to Blues, however, refocuses the story onto Sita as well as provides commentary through other characters on where the story may clash with modern values. This is where we get into the controversies. The HJS, or this, a global Hindu organization, wanted a complete ban on the movie and called it a derogatory act against the entire Hindu community. In the interest of full truth, I need to include that the HJS calls for the establishment of the Hindu nation. You will recall that while India is the home of Hindus, it is also the home of Muslims, Sikhs, Christians, Jews, Jains, and probably other religions I don't know about. And the production of the film did include many artists, voice actors, and musicians of Indian descent. I'll let you draw your own conclusions. So, why is this movie in the public domain, allowing me to show you way more of it than I'd get to with most other films? It has to do with the music. I don't know why I stay home. Paley used recordings of jazz age singer Annette Hanshaw. U.S. federal copyright law hadn't been established in the 1920s, so the Hanshaw recordings were covered by a patchwork of state and local laws rather than being in the public domain. Director Nina Paley explains it much better than I can, and I recommend going to her website to get the whole story. Paley had originally released the movie under a Creative Commons license and changed this to public domain in response to the ordeal of wrangling with all these rights. Well, now, on to the review. In short, I liked it. It was a story I hadn't heard before. The animation, while not spectacular, is lively and colorful. And while it was quite a problem for the director, I enjoyed the music throughout the film. Also, there is a semi-autobiographical wraparound story, set in modern times obviously, that parallels the mythical story of Rama and Sita. So I recommend it. Check it out. It's free, so it will only cost you time. That's it for this episode, and may the road rise with you.